another edition of Economy on the Street. President Bola Ametunu, who in his inaugural speech, said no more first subsidy. This is coming after weeks when the previous administration were actually contemplating if the subsidy, if they will continue to subsidize for or they will remove for subsidy in general. After this announcement, there has been a lot of panic buying all over Nigeria. So today I'm on the streets, I'm going to be asking whether there's an increment in the um, pump price or people are just naturally just panicking. It's just because of the speech that the president made that is causing this one. The whole filling station, they started holding their fire, locking up the filling stations. So because as of yesterday, I bought fuel in where I live. There's no queue. But now we just woke up this morning and we started experiencing all this type of panic buying. Everybody wants to have fuel. My own opinion is this. If removing first world city will be the best solution, let them remove it. So first world city today, first world city tomorrow, first world city next month, every administration will talk about this. If they use it as they said, it will be a good thing, we benefit from it. But nobody knows how this government will be. If not, other people have been promising that when they do something, they will use it for the masses, but they are not using it. And to me, I see that the announcement is so early. And you know, this is the advantage, because I believe that these uh, fuel, uh, fuel uh, owners, I mean petrol uh, station owners, they are the causes of I, I believe this queue just for a while. If actually they will remove the subsidy and put it to the right channel that it will serve, it will be okay. Heard from the presidential speech. I say there is is not going to is not going to sponsor the first subsidy thing. The all of them have most of them have to But it refuse to sell because of that speech. And because of panic buying, people are buying anyhow. That's what causes the queue. So these are what commuters and personal car owners have to say about the new development. Thank you for watching today's episode of